welcome back to the channel. Okay, so we're getting into it. There were so many things that were breaking this week and weekend. Well, it's, I say this week, it's only Wednesday. Oh my gosh, there's just been too much going on. But definitely this weekend, lots of things were a uh, uh, a brewing um, for many people it would brought a lot of excitement i mean we had the wedding of the century jennifer williams and kristen gold from basketball wives la okay i'm just saying that <laughs> and then we saw well an unlikely pairing um between um jen and ben now I've got some videos that I have shared um, already on the platform. So you haven't gotten a chance to check those out. I hope that you will do so um, after this video, of course. And um, yeah, we've talked a lot about the things that were going on naturally. I mean, they really are the ones that have the divorce um, heard and seen around the world. I mean, it's just really honestly catastrophic to me in the sense that this was a regular situation. I would really feel sorry for the people involved because to have all of that out there in the way that it has been, it could not have been easy um i do think that with all things um as they were the two did better than what some couples would have done i mean you know uh they were not continuously screaming and attacking each other at least directly or outwardly um you know through the social media they did more passive aggressive moves so usually that's a little bit more of a pleasant way of getting through this kind of angst right i mean at the end of the day jennifer said that ben was the love of her life if i'm not mistaken her soulmate so this has got to be somewhat i mean you know heartbreaking and there has been reports of that individuals who are saying you know sources whoever these sources are saying that she is feeling heartbroken at this point so you know with all the things that are going on with jennifer 2024 has not been a good year for her let's just put it out there right um you know between the stuff that she's dealing with on the professional side with the canceled tour with really her relationship it seems with with the people for the most part now not everybody is you know down on JLo, there's she's got her supporters. And so that's great because, you know, that I'm sure it's much more helpful for her than to feel like everybody or the world just, you know, at this point, just not checking for her. Um, but, you know, at the same time, you've got that and the weight of that. And then your marriage literally implodes in front of everyone, right? And so, I mean, at the end of the day, I was one of those who thought, look, this is going to be great for them. You know, this was in 2022, that is. Um, when they got back together, I was all about the love. So, but like I said, these people are grown, grown. So if it doesn't work out, they know their way around a divorce lawyer. Um, both of them do in this case, for sure. And, you know, at the end of the day, there's still individuals that are part of the union, which are the children, the children, which I always say are the most important when it comes to these kinds of situations, because you want to make sure that everybody is in a good place and the children have to come first when you're entering them into the shenanigans of adult stuff. And it seems like both Ben's kids and Jen kids got really close together. And, you know, look, they were for all intents purposes, sisters and brothers for at least a good year and a half. Um, and unfortunately, I've heard some um, reports that things were really kind of going downhill since the honeymoon. This has really been kind of going on for a while. And, you know, you never know how the kids may react or interact with that situation. But apparently they seem to still be at least somewhat close for how long that will last. That's a good, uh, you know, question to ask because we don't know. You know, Jennifer has been criticized for not staying um, in sync with the two daughters from her previous uh, relationship um, and, uh, you know, A-Rod and, so will this be a, you know, a, a duplicate situation? Will this kind of uh, run its same course as before? Um, you know, they don't have kids biologically, so therefore it is prudent for the, you know, adults in the room um, to take hold of the situation and to make it as safe as possible for the kids emotionally, that is. I mean, at the end of the day, look, not all relationships are meant to be. Sometimes, you know, as adults, you know, we make mistakes, right? Not all perfect. And I think that you do need to be mindful and careful of the level and gravity of those mistakes that you make, especially when you have, you know, other ones depending on you for their well-being and their emotional situation, as well as their physical and their, um, you know, primary needs, they don't need to be dragged into the buffoonery of it all. And so at this point, I think that they at least appear to be giving um, a positive foot forward. I mean, this cannot, again, be easy. You know, the holidays are not going to be quite what they maybe hoped they would be. I mean, really what they naturally should have been, because 
why on earth, as I shared before, would you be apart for so many years and then get back together for this to implode just about the same amount of time and maybe a little bit less than the first time around? I mean, my goodness, it just seems really unfortunate. So like I said, 2024 has not been her year. I'm pretty sure that Jennifer is going to take this year within the amount of strive and lessons that hopefully she will take from whatever is needed for her so she can have a better 2025 because look, you know, there's a lot going on in this world and you got to find your happiness somewhere. But I also am a firm believer that, you know, at the end of the day, the way of treatment of others is very, very important. So how you treat, you know, each other is always going to come back some way. So if that's part of what is going on here, then, you know, then you're seeing it full force. You don't have to be convinced. Right. Um, but at the end of the day, this is not uh, an element of piling on because I really do feel like she's been piled on quite a bit. I don't know if that's going to end anytime soon because I know there's a lot of other things are brewing that may end up dragging her back into it or maybe not. We'll just have to see. Um, but in the meantime, you know, everybody got the shock of the century, I guess, that uh, she and Ben stepped out with the kids. It looks like they were going to go um, to have a nice lunch together, just spending some time together, you know? So I say, maybe this is just for the kids. And that's okay, right? I mean, at the end of the day, these children were going to, all intents and purposes, um, you know, live the rest of their lives together as siblings and, you know, share all these moments. And now all of a sudden it's ripped away from them. And who knows, maybe they're used to it. I mean, maybe they're not as uh, tra traumatized about the situation. I mean, it doesn't mean that's a good thing or a bad thing, but if one thing, they're definitely, definitely uh, got to be adaptable to change and what that means, because my goodness, they've had to do that. Both sets, I think, have had to do that. And, you know, parenting is hard. So when you're doing it in the spotlight, it probably is even harder. So at the end of the day, you know, you can do the best that you can do and try and, I guess, to lessen the amount of harm. My goodness, you know, lessen the harm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's so much psychology behind this situation, I'm sure, but we will not get into all of that in this video. But, you know, definitely, you can most certainly share your respectable uh, uh, thoughts down below. I would love to know, you know, how you're feeling about that. Um, we can have a nice conversation about it. You know, at the end of the day, it's just really unfortunate, like I always share, that when two people come together in union and then the union splits, you know, it's not cool. It's not great. But, you know, you do what you need to do, though. Also, if it's not working, it ain't working, then run for the hills. Because at the end of the day, life is too short. And maybe for her, four or five times is not the charm. Maybe six is or whatever it is as far as the marriage um, count is at this point. Um, and for him, too, maybe third time will be the charm for him if he chooses to go down that path again. You know, everybody, is, like I said, is consenting adults. The issue is when you have the children dragged along with the situation, right? A lot of people are going to have opinions and feelings about that. Um, so, you know, of course, that they it's their family union. They're going to hopefully know what's best and right for their kids right just like anybody else would do for theirs so you know at that point it seemed like it was a loving situation until of course the paps got there and um you know ben did look a little bit bothered by that but then i don't know i mean we don't have audio so yeah he did look a little bit uh, annoyed but was it this big blowout and i know some people felt like maybe he was yelling at her and honestly i don't know why would he be yelling at her i mean is it because people think that well you know i have seen it they think that she calls the paps on her to you know get the pics i mean if that's the case and i think that's a, a, a really a fruitless situation and why even have that out there? <laughs> it's just not going to be a great thing. Or is it just because, look, she is uh, a world renowned worldwide, whether, it, you know, you appreciate that or not. Right. Superstar. Everybody wants to, I guess, get the pick. So at the end of the day, here we are. Um, but, at, you know, hopefully they had a nice time. <laughs> but, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the sharing um, and see what other details we can get from the uh, day out. All right. So according to people.com, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez step out together with the kids for the first time since divorce news. Now, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez stepped out together with their kids amid their divorce. On Saturday, September 14th, the former couple were photographed together at the Beverly Hills Hotel in Los Angeles, marking the first time they have reunited publicly alongside their kids since Lopez had filed for divorce from the actor on August 20th, which really does feel like it was just yesterday. Now, in photos of the outing shared by a 
Du Moy. Affleck 52 and Lopez 55 could be seen standing outside of the hotel and then walking inside together. The air actor wore blue jeans and a blue button up shirt with dark sunglasses, just in case you wanted to know and you were into the fashion. While Lopez sported a black long sleeve crop top, matching black jeans, and light shaded sunglasses. Now, the pair were also photographed together inside a black SUV with Affleck behind the wheel and the Atlas actress in the passenger seat, which is interesting. So they didn't get a driver. They That seems kind of intimate to me. I mean, in a good way. That doesn't mean they're getting back together. But, I mean, that's pretty cool if you can actually stay in a car and just you drive. And, yeah, that's very normal. Anyways, Lopez and Affleck's joint outing comes nearly a month after the can't get enough single file for divorce from Affleck after more than two years of marriage. In her filing, she listed April 26, 2024 as the date of their separation. She tried really hard to make things work and is heartbroken, a source told people of Lopez at the time of the filing. The kids are a top priority as they always have been. Now, last week, Lopez attended the premiere of her and Affleck's new movie, Unstoppable, at the Toronto International Film Festival. She wore a dazzling silver floor-length Tamara Ralph dress for the event and was spotted chatting with Affleck's longtime friend and production partner, Matt Damon, for more than 20 minutes at the premiere's after party. And I'm pretty sure that was something that everybody had their eyes on. I did see a couple of pics and videos myself. And, you know, it looked like it was least pleasant. And I appreciated to see that, obviously, because I did do a video not too long ago where there seemed to maybe possibly been some potential issues there, um, you know, but there was so much going on, right? So much emotion going on. And the fact that Ben and Matt have been friends for so long, I think they consider themselves like brothers. I mean, he's been here for it all, right? Now, Jen and Matt began talking and had a long, deep conversation. An insider told People, adding that the two laughed and spoke more seriously. They also held hands as they chatted for several minutes. Now, that's interesting. Lopez stars in the sports biopic about a wrestler, Anthony Robles and Affleck and Damon 53 produced the film under their production company, Artist Equity. And it does seem like it's a really cool film from what I could see from the trailer that they had showed. I saw some bits of trailers about it. And just the story alone is very inspiring. So I think this, they got a hit on their hand with this one. Now, Affleck did not attend the movie premiere and was instead photographed stepping out with two of his kids, Samuel 12 and Serafina 15, in Los Angeles that same day. He shares the kids along with 18-year-old daughter Violet with his ex-wife Jennifer Garner. We all do know that Violet is now off to college, so good for her. Congratulations to them both and all three of them for that milestone. Now, following Lopez's trip to Toronto, a source told people that the Marry Me star was so over all the attention on her personal life and that she was feeling more positive after doing press for unstoppable and i would say that that's a really good attitude to have to be honest with you because at the end of the day when you're doing that good work right when you're doing the filming that's why i said stay with the film and stay with the filming now look i ain't not a dream crusher at this point so at the end of the day you do whatever you want to do but do the films i think this was a good choice here and i think having the backing of Ben and Matt, because you know they've done movies together and they've done great jobs there in that arena. I think this is really good. This is probably what she needs to help in that resurgence, along with maybe other things that she'll need to do, you know. But at the end of the day, this is a good start, right? You need an opening, and this is her opening. And it's you know, really, I wish that this was something that could have happened instead of the other documentary thing that she came out. Maybe this would be a different story for them, right? I mean, I don't know, but. I, <laughs> Uh, who knows maybe 20 years from now whatever it is that she did maybe it will be a masterpiece maybe people at that time will find some appreciation for it in a way that maybe a lot of us don't see at this point because it just was such the beginning of the end so to speak and maybe it was always what it represented and it was kind of that last ditch effort to kind of you know see i love you kind of thing but this would have been a probably a really good option to do instead of um you know and in the atlas movie on netflix i told you i saw that and i enjoyed it so you have not seen the atlas um movie on netflix look it's netflix okay so it's not like it's blockbuster uh, films or anything but it was a good watch on a sunday afternoon just kind of chilling with the hubby i enjoyed it myself so and i said this is what she needs to be doing just just stay in the acting area right now you know um but you know again i'm not a dream catcher stealer Crusher. That's it. I'm not a dream crusher. So do what you need to do. Boo. Do what you need to do. But I am glad to see that it seemed to be a positive connection between her and um, 
Matt Damon. So that's a good thing. Now, um, the film festival truly uplifted her. The source had explained she was excited to focus on work again. And usually that's what happens when everything else is falling apart. If you got the work, that can help you through, believe it or not. Now, a separate source had told people that Lopez seems much happier than a few weeks ago, adding that she continues to look for a new home for her and the kids and is taking her time. And you know what? I would say definitely go ahead and do that because didn't that last home cost like what, $68 million? Like who is doing that? I mean, that's a lot of money for them just to um, implode within a few months. Like it's crazy. So yeah, you know, I want to think she's an expert at looking at um, real estate because it seems like she's been doing that and there's no cap on that. It seems like she's been doing that for a while you know, even before the marriage. So, you know, she can probably really kind of give some good hints on where to go and the great, great places to be out in LA for sure. And I guess it appears that she's probably going to get that home in LA. I don't know if New York is going to be an option still on the table, but I guess we'll find out more as time goes on. But yeah, at the end of the day, I, um, look, I'm hoping for a win for her too. Look, we're going to stay in the positive because like I said, this week has been crap <laughs> for a lot of things and y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah. Oh my gosh. It's, it's, it's been a lot, but uh, so it look, hopefully this will be a, a kind of a balancing of the scales for her because everybody needs a, a win, you know, um, can't keep kicking people down while they're down. I mean, this is never a good win um, for anyone at this point. So, you know, whatever it is, it will be what it's going to be. Maybe they'll be able to continue to be friends at this point. Who knows? Maybe they may turn around and do it about face. I don't know if that's as likely, but, you know, there's a situation with another a celebrity couple that they actually don't live together. They're together. They've been together for a long time. Was it um, Sarah Paulson? Um, and, um, oh gosh, I'm, I can't remember the legendary actress that she's married to right, or uh, dating at this point. Um, it, yeah, if you can recall, drop it down for me, please. Um, but yeah, she used to share, you know, look, they don't live together. There's not really, I guess, a real need for it and, you know, may never be a need for it, but they get along great. Maybe this might be the situation for... Um, Jennifer, maybe it might be a situation between her and Ben that maybe instead of going all the way to the divorce situation, maybe they'll just do the separation thing for a while and see how it, you know, you never know. Um, maybe not, but you know, you never know. I mean, she loves love and I, look, I love love too. So at the end of the day, you know, you want a relationship that's full and about everything that it needs to be when it comes to the romance, right? So if it's a lacking situation, and it's not something that you feel like you can continue to move in that lacking, then you really should move on. I would 100% agree with that. And, you know, she's got her work. She's a beautiful woman. She'll find another guy. It's not going to be a problem for her, I'm sure. Um, you know, now, whether it's the love of her life is to be seen. But, you know, of course, when we deal with these kind of situations, we all know that we have to take stock in what's going on and try to see where we can make changes where there needs to be, even if it's just about the decision of who we choose. And if I'm not mistaken, in the mouthing and a little bit of audio on one of those videos where she says she picks wrong. I think it's what she said. You know, so I thought that was a bit, you know, if that's what it was in context with, um, that's unfortunate. But, you know, hey, look, each day that you wake up is another day to change the outcome of your life. I mean, that's what they say. So I think I'm going to stick with that mode. And that might be for her as well. And like I said, as long as you got the work and the work is good, you're going to be okay if, as you're going through the, the situation. And let that be your crutch, right? Let that inspiration of pain turn into the motivation that's needed for the work and that will get you in and it also gives you a little bit of time to kind of catch your breath a little bit and you know decide what to do with your love life you know sometimes you know people can rush into the love situation so quickly and they don't get through whatever they need to get through to be better for themselves choose better for themselves and therefore they kind of run into the same circle or cycle of uh, relationships and uh, it never gets anywhere that needs to be and quite frankly i think we are meant to have love and, and, uh, you know, if nothing else, right. As someone that you can kind of go through this crazy life with. And, um, you know, at, at least at this point though, she has two beautiful kids and, uh, she is saying that those, uh, the children are the most important and what more can you ask for on that? So with that being said, I think I'm going to bid you adieu on this video. Um, I thank you so much for being here. And of course, if you are new here, 
please go ahead and make sure you subscribe and be part of the family. I would so love to have you. And if you're already part of the family, thank you so much for being part of the family. Thank you for subscribing and thank you all for your viewing and listening support. I truly appreciate it. I definitely would love to know your comments. So definitely throw those respectful comments down below so we can have a conversation. I've shared what I take and I'd love to know what yours is. And yeah, I think with that, uh, definitely make sure you have your notification bell on so you do not miss an upload. Again, I have a couple of other movies that um, I'm also drop movies. <laughs> Look at me. Am I going to be an actress? I don't know. I would love that. But I had a couple other videos that dropped earlier today. So make sure that you uh, take a look at those as well. Just a little bit of um, information, I guess, at this point. We've had a nice update of a marriage. We had a reconnection today, which is great. And then whatever the first video I did. Oh, yeah. The Real Housewives. So that's probably going to be popping um, on our screens if you're on the Eastern Coast um, here real soon. So, yeah, probably the next 15 minutes or so. <laughs> so definitely make sure you catch that video because it's... Um, would be nice to know the free loop, right? I mean, or come back to it afterwards. It's fine too. It doesn't matter really. It's going to be here. <laughs> With that, you take care and be blessed. You have a great evening or day or whatever time you are watching this. All right. Until next time. Bye.